Hi everyone, I am Brian Merrill. Thanks for coming to my talk today. I have uh, very little time to cover everything that I want to cover, so I'm going to go very quickly through these slides. Um, I recommend that if you're interested in more uh, information, uh, you can go back through these slides and pause them and look at them in more detail. And then there's also uh, some links at the end of the slides um, for other videos and uh, code repos to get more information. Um, I am at BG Merrill on social media. Uh, feel free to reach out to me after watching this if you have any questions. Um, I'm a software engineer working on eBPF solutions and open source at Walmart. Uh, we are hiring if, you're in, if that's something that sounds interesting to you. Um, so very quickly, what are XDP and TC? Essentially, they're both parts of the Linux networking stack. XDP is relatively low level and higher performance. Uh, TC is relatively uh, higher level and more expensive performance wise, um, but you have a little bit more context because you're higher up in the stack. Um, so the problem that we have uh, at Walmart is we want to uh, run sequences of eBPF programs in both XDP and then another sequence of different programs in TC. Um, so the solution that we have for this is named Leaf. Um, Specifically, Leaf D is a daemon that we have that's written in Go that does this chaining for us. Um, this project, I'm not going to talk a lot about this project because it's not quite open source, but that, that is something we are working on. Um, Facebook and Cloudflare uh, have similar approaches, um, but as you can see here, um, it can be kind of complex to, to chain these programs together. So essentially what happens is uh, you have a, a subsequent uh, BPF programs in the chain write the uh, write their program FD to a shared map where a previous BPF program reads from and so it knows what to, what program to call next um, so this again this can be quite complex and also has a downside that these all of these BPF kernel programs essentially have to know that they're part of a chain because they have to have this logic to do the BPF tail call, um, which ideally is something that we'd like to avoid. Um, so there is a new, relatively new uh, solution for this. Uh, starting in Linux 5.10, you're able to use the libxdb dispatcher, uh, which um, simplifies a lot of this, a lot of the chaining logic. Um, so, uh, Here's kind of an overview of the XTB dispatcher um, and some of its details, but essentially there's a uh, library that's provided to you uh, or even a, uh, a front end application that allows you to do this chaining um, and show you uh, the status of the chain and you can uh, add and remove and atomically replace these chains. Um, in a, a relatively straightforward matter. Uh, the XTP dispatcher uses the XTP lib, um, and since we use uh, Leaf D, which is written in Go, um, our plan is to create a Go XTP lib implementation, which uh, I have started, but it's very, very early, mostly just cobbled together ideas and quick proof of concept uh, right now. Um, so I'll do, I'll do a quick demo of using the XTP dispatcher. Um, so here on the left screen, um, you can see that there are no XTB programs loaded. Uh, if I wanted to load one, um, I could run the XTB loader and tell it to run uh, to, to load the XTP pass um, program. Uh, and then I can see, if I run XTB stat loader status again, I can see now that on that interface there is an XTB program. Um, just to kind of show off a little bit the the proof of concept that we have in Go, um, I can run the status and I can also see that that program has been loaded. Um, but hopping back over to the, the main uh, uh, XTP loader program, um, I can add uh, more and more of these in a chain. Uh, I can see a status. So if you wanted to run, you know, th these are all the same programs, but you could run separate programs. Um, and then uh, you can quickly see them, reorder them, do things like that. So uh, yeah, that's how that works. A quick demo, uh, working on the Go implementation of libxdp. Uh, TC chaining, we won't have time to get into. 
but um, there's some quick information right here about it. Uh, my time is up, and so I, I will end this, uh, this video. Thanks. And here's the references.